Oh, cool. I get a, I get a little insight into the tour bus. Yeah, this is nice. the lounge upstairs. Wow. Oh. Sigrid, yeah. that is, it's my first tour bus. That's, that's my first like performers tour bus of what it, what is it actually like rolling around the place on a tour bus all the time? It's incredible. It's, I'm not saying this to like sound cool or like something, but I, I love the tour bus. <laughs> so next, we just did a tour in America, which was really fun, but the tour bus canceled on us three weeks before the tour. So um, we ended up having to like fly across the whole country, staying in hotels. And, you know, it's great with the comfort of a bed, but it's not, it's not the like full like school trip, just hanging out. Yeah. I uh, do, do you ever get parked up behind like, beside like noisy neighbors or something, uh, screeching macaque monkeys or um, uh, fight, fighting, fighting uh, lovers? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I remember. It was on the first, not on the first, it was probably like the first UK tour we did uh, where we had a tour bus and we got parked up uh, next to the venue, but the venue turned into a nightclub. And I think this <laughs> like North England, November, and it was carnage. Like people were out. <laughs> and I just remember I was just like peeking through my little, oh, what is this? <laughs> I guess it's probably logistically looked after a bit better now, as opposed to like the bus driver kind of going, yeah, I see a service station over there. We'll, we'll just pull up around the back. I presume someone's actually mapped it out in advance. <laughs> no, I'm not around service stations. I don't mind that. Yeah. Practical. Yeah. <laughs> uh, where, where are we speaking to you right now? I'm in Manchester. Uh, nice one. We're parked up outside the venue. It's really nice. Um, cool. The have started fairly started the, um, the sound check we're playing the apollo tonight so nice. legendary and it's sold out so yeah i'm just super excited Ooh. my brother's down the road in altrincham if you want to pop down for a cup of tea he'd be happy to yeah they got a little they've got a little one-year-old boy as well willem you can you can uh, play around and entertain yourself i'm joking what is your pre-concert routine um i often play a lot of sims the computer game um, but my tour manager actually told me off on one of the tours this summer of being like, maybe you should have like a rule of like having like a time limit for when you stop playing computer games, because I get so I drift off into the computer game and I think I'm a werewolf at one point. So yeah, trying to get better. I think, I think it, I'm a werewolf at some point. Yeah, but that's, I, I'm a, <laughs> on Sims 4, which is pretty cool. So, you know, it's a bit of a Hannah Montana lifestyle, like one second. <laughs> Werewolf, another second, pop artist. <laughs> and Kamir, are you feeling kind of back in the groove of it? Because I think the last time we spoke, it was still very much, um, you know, sort of like, I oh, didn't know it was ever going to come back and now it has and I'm so relieved. But is it more kind of like, does it now kind of feel like, yeah, yeah, we're back. When was this, the last time? Um, I don't, I think, when were you in Dingle? Was that earlier this year? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dingle was last November, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, I don't. I, I, yeah. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I think it was around that time, anyway. Yeah, very much that time where it was a bit like, yeah, opening up and then closing mm. down. Again. Yeah. I feel like I feel it was more. Anyway, listen, it doesn't matter when the last time I chatted to you before, but it still was very much that kind of like, you know, you know, I, I, you know, I, I suppose we talked about how you, you, you know, burst into fame quite quickly and how intense an experience that must have been. And then what it was like to sort of go back to shut down and be like, oh, wow, is that it? Does it, is it will, you know, will it ever come back? Um, you know, that the first few weeks were sort of enjoyable of like, oh, this is great. I get to be myself. And then it's like two months and it's like, OK, what's going on here? Um, yeah. but, but, but you feel back in the groove of being a, you know, a touring musician and playing gigs and chatting to radio people and TV people. And uh, it's incredible. I'm just really, um, really excited to see everyone back in full swing and, and seeing everyone from like my crew and my band to local crew, every technician who shows up. Like I just saw probably 20 people working to set up the whole stage today and the PA and it's just incredible to see people back at what we love to do and there's so much passion in the music industry and from everyone who's like in touring crews and and things like that where yeah I just we we really love our jobs and we put so much pride into it we put so so much pr pride into delivering the best show possible and yeah um there were some like three, two, one, three, two, one. Oh, hello. Hi, Tracy. Hi, Hi, Tracy Clifford. 
How are you? Uh, How are you we're, doing? We're having a cross radio uh, thing here. This is Tracy from 2FM, Sigrid. This is Tracy, I'm Dave from Red FM. Hiya, Tracy. Hello. <laughs> oh, she's been pulled out again. She's been pulled out again. Oh, right. Sorry, Tracy. She's obviously next. She's chatting to you next. Oh, good. Oh, good. She um, just she just fronted a um a TV show in Ireland which was counting down like the the top twenty best Irish tracks of all time and I think it was a bit of a big deal for her so so tell her tell her you saw it and she was great. Oh, <laughs> nice. Um, Sorry, what I wanted to that. ask you, uh, Secret, about gig like what for you tells you during a gig that it's going well, like you know like not even going well but like oh the, uh, you know what's the bit where you go yes. It's really happening. Crowds engaged. I'm loving it. Production's slick. You know, I'm hitting all the notes. I'm hitting all the marks. Is there a is there a is there a moment where you turn around to the band maybe and someone gives you that look and you're like, yes, we're on it tonight. I think it's when I look. So like midways in our set, I usually do some ballads on the piano by myself, which is always a really nice like check in. And I feel like that's the moment where I really feel like where the gig is going. And I think it's when I look into my monitor engineer. We share the same name. Her name is Sigri as well. And it's when I look into her eyes and either if she's like shedding a tear, I'm like, yeah, this is going great. <laughs> yeah. Oh, nice. So she yeah. gets really emotionally invested when it's when it's re when it's really on as well. Yes, we, we do. Yeah, we do that. I mean, her and me especially. But I think it's, you know, when you feel like the energy in the crowd and like people mm. really like really want to go off but i feel just incredibly lucky with our crowds i feel like it's always such a nice energy and people want to help out and yeah it's lovely like even it was actually when we played in birmingham it was a couple of people that actually fainted because i hadn't been like drinking enough water and it was really warm in the venue and stuff but we, we stopped the show and it was just so nice to see the whole crowd just being like all right we're stopping it like we're making sure everyone's okay and everyone's really really calm in it and it was just so nice to, yeah, to see that really lovely energy of everyone just want everyone to have a good time. That's my and, impression. And, and to be okay. That's good. Yeah. Looking out for each other. Tell me about the um, special edition of the How to Let Go album. What What's what's the story with it? Yeah, so I've always made acoustic versions of all my singles and it's been really fun every time. I've done it with the same guy in Norway, Ashel. He's incredible, a good friend of mine. And then I decided that I wanted to make alternative acoustic versions of the whole album because wow. I knew that the songs would fit it because I, I write all the songs on piano usually. So I knew that it was going to be really nice. So yeah, we just locked ourselves into the studio and made... Uh, a full-blown version of the whole album acoustically and I'm really proud of it. I think it's really nice. Magic. At this day, two weeks, I'm not sure when people will hear me play this out on the radio or see it online, uh, but it's it's Thursday 10th and it's this day, two weeks, you play Three Arena in Dublin. And I know because you told me the last time that uh, the Irish gig is the one you're looking forward to most because you've got a, a, a really nice connection with, with, with Ireland. Absolutely. I'm so, so excited for the Ireland gigs. It's incredible. I, the first time we played at the arena, I couldn't believe it. I was, you know, playing in arena that early in my career as well was incredible. And the fact that we get to come back another time, it's, um, yeah, it's hard to believe. And I'm just feeling super lucky. And I promise I'll give it my all because it is the last gig of the year. It's the oh. final, it is the final show. Oh probably going to be pretty emotional from my end yes uh, the other yeah. the other cigarette will definitely have a tear in her eye <laughs> <laughs> and when you go back to Norway what are you looking forward to most over winter I mean hanging with family and friends obviously but I suppose what I'm trying to get at is like you know our you know our, I presume it's a very typical uh, Norwegian activity to get up on the ski slopes and the like yeah, absolutely. I'm really excited to go skiing and I'll probably hate it a little bit when my parents are dragging me and my siblings up the really steep hills of all this <laughs> But I think it'll be super nice. I'm really excited to like have my lunch out in the snow and like sit there and be a bit cold, but we all huddle together to mm. like keep warm. Mm. And I'm really excited. I'm hoping there's going to be good powder this year. That'll nice. be great. Well, yeah. I wish you I wish you good powder for the winter to come and a great gig in the three arena in a little less than two weeks. Sigrid, pleasure chatting. I'll hand you over to your next chat and enjoy the gig tonight. Hope it's a good one. Thank you so much. Lovely to chat to you. Take care.